Let's get over to Sydney because we do have Paul Quinn who is live there with a bunch of Irish supporters. Paul, how are we getting on? What's the atmosphere like? Well, look, the atmosphere here is amazing in Sydney. Uh, in a, just under four hours, less than four hours, the game will kick off here between Ireland and Australia. Uh, this is a momentous occasion and we're joined here by a group of uh, friends who met in college who've made the journey down under. Tell us, how did this all come about? Well, like you said, we're a group of six friends who met in WIT um, and we've remained friends since. And on our 30th birthday, we decided, you know what, we're going to save and go for a trip for a lifetime for our 40th. And COVID hit for our 40th, so that gives you an idea of our age. And then, I suppose, the girls qualified and we said, that's it, that's the trip for a lifetime. And here we are, we've made it as far as Sydney. You got here on Tuesday. What's the atmosphere been like? What's, you know, how have you been enjoying it? Oh, it's been absolutely brilliant. We went out to meet the girls in the airport yesterday. Such a good atmosphere out there. Come back in uh, to Darling Harbour. There was loads of Irish supporters around Darling Harbour and the Opera House. So absolutely fantastic. What did you make of the access that people had at the airport to the team when they came off the plane? Like I, they, they spent a lot of time chatting with fans and their families. Rob. They did, yeah. It was absolutely brilliant to get so close to them. Um, yeah, I think they were a bit shocked themselves when they seen us there as well, that we were that close and how many of us were out there. So, yeah, it was it was brilliant. And they were so good. And, you know, they did stop to chat to us and got loads of autographs and everything. So, yeah, really good. So tell us, what have you been kind of up to for the last couple of days? How how manic has it been? Have you slept at all? How's the jet lag? <laughs> It, we're finding it hard today, but we're going to we're going to push through it today. Now, um, today is um, we've ju we've just been everywhere. We've been just meeting a lot of people here. We've relatives here as well. Um, we've be we have been chasing the team around a little bit, like fanatics. <laughs> we don't get out much. We have left behind we've left behind four husbands, nine kids, and um, I just think that it's just it's just something that. Um, we, we decided that we had to do it and we're all involved in soccer and, and sport actually we're all involved in sport um, quite big back home and um, all involved in uh, soccer we had a coach Jenny plays soccer still and uh, Darmo here plays up in Brisbane but I think um, we're all involved at home and what's going on at home in women's soccer and girls soccer at the grassroots level is phenomenal we probably won't realise what's the, out the impact of this until after the World Cup and what Vera and the girls have achieved win, lose or draw they have got to this stage and put themselves um, out there for everyone to see and um, we're already planning the next four years where we're going and what we're doing girls because even Katie McCabe yesterday was saying you know it's not just about making history that it's about a legacy and you know all those young boys and girls who'll be waking up this morning turning on their tellies watching the game like that's gonna like it's their Italian 90 really isn't it yeah it is absolutely right like my three kids play soccer uh, with Dan Shockley Newts and um, yeah they love it um, so yeah they'll be up this morning now watching it already yes yeah, so I tell us, you, it's also a very special day for you as well it's not just not just Australia uh, taking on Ireland here why <laughs> explain exactly yeah I got married a year ago um, to my husband now yeah one year anniversary today um, I've sent him a picture of our flag and said happy anniversary so yeah <laughs> So what's the plans for the next couple of days or how long are you here for it? Does it all depend on the results? Or? Well, we are um, here until Sunday and um, we have hired a camper van, six of us in it, um, best friends for life or just for this trip, we'll see. <laughs> and uh, we're heading up to Brisbane. We um, It just didn't work out to go to Perth, but we'll be there. We'll be stopping off along the way. We'll have our place to be. We'll be donning the, the hats and and the flags and we'll head up to Brisbane and we, we'll, we'll check them out up there as well and uh, depending on well look we're, we're heading home supposedly after that but you never know how do we think the match is going to go what would be what would be a win here for us uh, look we're all hopeful I suppose all the hearts would say we'd love 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 a win but I don't know maybe a draw at this we take a draw maybe at this stage but it'd be brilliant I mean first game you never know in international football it'd be brilliant if we could get get the win or get a draw I'll kick off in a couple of hours and then it's all to play for um, great excitement here the, the crowd is starting to build I'm seeing a lot of yellow there for the Matildas but no doubt that uh, Sea of Green is making its way here to Stadium Australia Brilliant, Brilliant. Thank so. you so much Paul Listen, enjoy the match and congratulate well done to everybody who is there supporting with the, yeah. the green, white and orange on this it's morning Great thing I'm excited to go What an amazing first anniversary to your husband How are you love? I'm, you I'm love? with the girls Bye I love <laughs> the it flag, I love though. it Listen.